brought to you by GTA. We start with you. 71-year-old Carmelita Serrano, who is a Harmon resident, said her daughter scheduled an appointment with her grandson to receive dose one of the Pfizer vaccine. She says she hopes to win something after getting immunized. I hope I win. <laughs> Serrano encourages island residents to get vaccinated. Oh, well, they should vaccine so they can, they're can. they not going to get sick. They're going to get the, the, the COVID. <laughs> Meanwhile, 16-year-old Andrew Wang of Barragata also received his first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. The sophomore student said he got vaccinated because his peers influenced him to do so. I just you know school pressure, the peer pressure, just, they all take it. The Department of Public Health and Social Services, in collaboration with DSID Guam, held a COVID-19 vaccination outreach at the Barragata Mayor's Office. DPHSS Public Information Officer Janela Carrera said the clinic operated well and the department plans to hold another vaccination outreach. And we so we had services with ASL, with the visually impaired. Um, and it was also open to the general public, so um, no one was turned away. And uh, I think it turned out pretty successful. So we're already talking about the possibility of coming back here in about three to four weeks um, so that we can accommodate those that would be due for dose two. And also, um, because you know this is uh, sort of a, uh, not a pilot, but sort of our, our first test run, um, for the disabilities community and they're kind of hearing about, sorry, they're kind of hearing about it. Um, I think it kind of just opens up that door and um, generates that interest within that community and I think they want to come back. So, or they're, they're, they're more interested now and I think um, coming back here in that three to four week time frame gives them that second opportunity to come here and get their vaccines. Reporting for Guam's News Network, Guahusia Zia Agan.